Hello everyone and welcome back to another video or welcome if you're new. I'm Cora and today we are back in Creator Sim creating another beautiful sim. And if you're interested in any of the CC, as always, it's linked down below, either on my Tumblr or on a Google Doc, whichever you prefer. And she's also available on the gallery under the hashtags The Simpanions or my gallery ID is also The Simpanions. You can find that in the description always. So if you're looking for it, it's there. Also make sure you turn on the or tick that little box where it says include custom content because otherwise you won't find them and recently I've been asked a lot by people saying I can't find your sims on the gallery and I'm sure it's just that because <laughs> they're always up you know um, sometimes I do forget but um, recently I feel like I've been pretty good with it you know <laughs> putting them up on the gallery in time and stuff because obviously I used to pre-record a little bit more and then it was like sometimes I just forgot to upload them, you know, because I didn't want to upload them way before the video even came online. So um, sometimes I forgot to then upload them, but I think recently I've been pretty good. So they should always be there. But anyways, let's get into her story. I think she turned out really beautiful. Actually, I kind of love her eyes for some reason. I don't know. <laughs> I just think they're really pretty. But anyways, I believe she grew up in a really small town, maybe in Newcrest. I, I kind of feel like it was Newcrest. I don't know. <laughs> and I believe she grew up in a very like conservative household. You know, I think her parents were super Super, super conservative they weren't really up for new ideas or anything and when they found out that Latoya was dating another girl in her school when she was 16 I think they just flipped like they didn't even want to hear about it um, they were super strict with it you know really behaving super mean towards her and they practically kicked her out of the house you know they left her with just like her personal stuff I believe they actually disowned her as well I think they were very like um, you know just super bad like they weren't listening to her at all they weren't like even though it's nothing like in my opinion to listen to like it's just who you're into it doesn't really matter like, <laughs> for you as a person you know um it shouldn't matter either way it's still your child and like I don't get why it's still such a big thing but um they were like that they couldn't accept it you know they were really really strict and that we don't want anything to do with you anymore and luckily her older sister I believe she's like eight years older she took her in she already had three kids herself that were all super small at that time so I believe Latoya was super grateful that she took her in um, and kind of took care of her as well because she was still at school you know like trying to do her A-levels, I guess. I don't know what they're called in America, actually, but I think I've heard it before, but I totally forgot. Anyways, what you do in high school before you go to college or university. And I believe she was super grateful. She probably helped out with the kids a lot, you know, um, to kind of take the stress off of her sister a little bit. And I, I believe they always had a good connection. And I feel like her sister is the only one that's on her side. I believe that her whole family, like both on her dad's and mom's side I believe they all don't want anything to do with her anymore you know I think they're all very like like I said very conservative and stuff and they were super rude about it and now she is just kind of like learning to love herself and um, I believe she is very strong-minded that's why the video is called strong mind <laughs> because I think even though she's had such a rough start into life you know because I believe her parents weren't the most loving anyways like from the start even before they found out about her sexuality I believe that they were always super strict and wouldn't allow her to do things and be her own person you know um, but now I think she moved out and she moved to San Mar you know and started college because I believe she just wants to make it by herself I also gave her the aspiration where they want like a big mansion just because I don't believe she actually wants to be like super super rich but I think she just dreams of having this like beautiful house you know maybe a wife and a few kids and I think it's just like her lifetime goal and I definitely wish that she will get there one day I think she's very career driven you know I think this whole story has just made her stronger even though it was super upsetting at the time and she was like struggling a lot probably had to like visit a few therapists and is probably still in therapy for it you know because it is a rough thing to get through if your parents are um just because of your sexuality if they're like super like I don't even know how to say it it's just rude isn't it it's just like stupid and um I guess it's really hard because then you're supposed to be loved by your parents and if 
they stop loving you because of something silly like that. I believe it's very hard to take. And obviously it's part of herself. It's not something she could change, you know. It's not like they don't like the way she behaves or whatever. <laughs> it's um, just the person she is. She is so she's, I think she struggled with herself a lot at that time, you know. Um, wondering if she is right the way she is but she finally um, luckily came to the decision that she is perfect the way she is and um, nothing's wrong with her you know and I think it just made her stronger I think she's like I said very career driven I think she's very self-assured I think she's ambitious with like everything she does you know might it be sports or her career or like friend goals or, like I don't know her, her life goals in general I think she's just very ambitious and I think she gets what she wants you know I also made her a bit hot-headed because I just thought with the story that she had I feel like when people say something negative about her I feel like she would flip straight away you know like as kind of like a mechanism to save herself to make sure she's okay I think she doesn't let it get very close to her and like kind of get super hot-headed straight away and maybe that is something that in the future when she starts her own family she can learn to deal with a little bit better than just getting angry but for the time being I think it's very understandable and I think that's the person it made her as well you know like very hot-headed when it comes to her personal life stuff like when someone might say something that's a bit more criticizing I feel like she would be super angry you know she'd be like no I'm not having it I'm fine the way I am which she is <laughs> but obviously there's always stuff people will criticize about you um, everyone gets that everyone knows that and I think that's just her way of handling it right now and if you play with her if you decide to play with her maybe if she has that beautiful home and like the wife she always dreamed of and a few kids you know maybe she'll learn how to deal with it better and become like an even better person than she already is but it's all part of um, growing up isn't it <laughs> like learning becoming a better version of yourself um, making sure other people around you are comfortable with the way you behave I think it's just something she has to work on you know which is totally fine we all have something like that I'm definitely not free of it <laughs> we all have our little things that we probably have to work on and I think that's very hard isn't it if you know something about you is not I don't want to say perfect because none of us are perfect like obviously you have um, a few things about yourself that are just very unique to you and they're not all necessarily bad but I think as soon as it it is hurtful to other people I think you should start wondering if you could maybe change it up a little bit you know if you're hot-headed I mean you could try and just exercise when you feel very hot-headed instead of like leashing out and getting angry at people you know I think that would be very nice talking about that oh my god we went to the supermarket today <laughs> just want to talk about this real quick went to the supermarket today and because of the riots going on right now the supermarkets are super full and crowded and like it's crazy today actually wasn't too bad but we went because we needed some shopping and <laughs> obviously and um the woman at the tilt was super rude she was like so rude like she didn't even say hi and when I said hello she just looked at me super rude and just said hi and like we got some bread rolls that were on offer because like now they don't have a lot of bread left anymore so we just grab those because that's like pretty much the only thing that's left bread wise so <laughs> we were like okay um guess it's bread rolls today so we got those and it didn't have the little tag on it where it said the price or that they're like reduced because I guess they were from yesterday or whatever and um she looked at us and they, she was like where did you get those from and we were like well from that aisle and she was like oh because there's no tag on it and she got like super annoyed and I was like that's that's not my fault you know like if you forget to what well, your colleagues forget to put a tag on it it's not the end of the world you know um, we don't like it's not my fault that it's not on there <laughs> and she was so rude and I understand that she's stressed but I still think if you're stressed you can still be nice to other people you know if, especially if you work in jobs like that but maybe I don't understand it she was also young so I was like I don't know <laughs> you haven't worked for that long <laughs> in your life <laughs> I mean I'm not the person to judge that but you know um, it would have been nice if she was a little bit nicer but with that said <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did please don't forget to leave a like comment and subscribe if you have not already and I will see you all next next time. Bye! There are two our stories,